Not satisfied with carving up our main roads for bike lanes, which for hours on end sit there empty, only to cause horrific traffic and pollution from queuing cars, the government are seeing how else they can punish our highly taxed drivers. A major overhaul of the highway code came into force yesterday in a bid to improve road safety for cyclists and pedestrians. The new guidance includes a hierarchy of road users with, surprise, surprise, drivers predict predictably at the bottom of the pile. Most people in a car are on their way to work, delivering something or, in myriad other ways, supporting the unstoppable powerhouse that is the British economy. Now, I'm all for cycling. It's cheap, good for your health and fabulous for the planet. I want our great cities of Cardiff, Belfast, Manchester, Glasgow, Birmingham, Liverpool and London to be the most bicycle friendly places on earth. It's great for kids, too. However, although those bicycle borrowing schemes have been a great success around the country, none of these measures should be at the expense of car drivers who pay their road tax insurance. They service their cars. They pay for MOTs. And of course, they pour billions into the Treasury every time they stick some unleaded into their Ford Focus. The idea of cyclists hogging a country lane by being encouraged to ride in the middle of the road, creating tailbacks that could quadruple the length of a normal journey is just balmy. The Department for Transport says the changes seek to improve the safety of those most at risk on our roads. But I worry that it will create road rage. It will slow people down and it doesn't make any practical sense. Roads are infrastructure and they are there to efficiently get people from A to B. If people are late for meetings, if they miss flights or aren't able to deliver important goods because they've got stuck behind a bloke in Lycra who's having a midlife crisis, then this will be a disaster. The other concern is that these changes make car drivers the guilty party in the event of any collision, which you know, as well as I do, is deeply unfair given the crazy things that some people do on bicycles, including jumping red lights and weaving in and out of traffic like they're Bradley Bloody Wiggins. And I think this change is bad news for cyclists too. Drivers are already confused about what the rules are and they'll be slamming on the brakes every 10 seconds, ultimately placing cyclists and other road users in great physical peril. I fear the only winners from this bonkers new set of rules will be paramedics, A&E departments and injury lawyers. You know, the guys that say where there's blame, there's a claim. For those greedy ambulance chasers, it's all just a game. Well, the game is up for common sense on this one. The highway code worked perfectly well as it was for decades. But here we go again with more state interference in our lives. So it's time for a U-turn on the new highway code. To the misguided, pen-pushing bureaucrats who clearly know nothing about the chaos on our roads, I've got three words for you. On your bike. <laughs>